Okay, welcome to part four of my video series on how to build your own scratch built plane. In part three, we built the entire plane from start to finish, so now it's time to install our motor and all the other electronics. In my next video, I'm going to be maintaining this thing and giving you tips on how to do your first flight. But again, we're going to have to install all our electronics first, and that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. Okay, so first we're going to be installing our motor mount. This is what your motor attaches to once this is on the plane. So we're just going to slide it into the notch right by the prop slot. Slide it into place. And you can get a better look on what it's supposed to look like. And now we're going to so now I'm going to take the motor mount back out. And I'm just going to put some glue inside the notch there where the motor mount attaches to. Make sure you put plenty of glue here. And then, put a bunch of glue right on the motor mount itself. Now I'm just going to slide it back into place. Just like that. And let it dry. Now, you want to make sure your motor mount is really even while it's drying. Make sure it's not slanted or tilted because then your motor is going to be Make crooked. sure you put extra glue on the outside there just to make sure it stays in place and you want that thing uh, really tight so your motor... Alright, now that our motor mount's glued in nice and tight, it's time to make the battery hatch where our battery is going to be inside. So the battery hatch on the bottom is where we're going to access our speed control receiver motor. but our battery itself is going to be inside here. So you're going to take a knife and we're going to cut along both of those edges and also right down there. Alright, so now that we've got that piece cut off, we're going to cut out the center piece right there. Okay, now you can see that I've cut out the center line there, and that's where our battery is going to fit into. This piece is going to go right over the top like that. Okay, so now you're going to want to take this piece, and you're going to want to cut off somewhere around right there. Not back too far, but because this is going to be our hinge. So, then you're going to want to put some tape over the place where you cut. And now this can go up and down like that. So, it's going to be right on there, and then this is how it's going to work. But, you're going to have to glue this part back onto the foam. Alright, now that I've got this hinged, as you can see this part's glued on, and I can just open this, slide my battery in, that's what's going to work. So now I'm going to be installing my magnets so this can snap shut and be held magnetically as well as the bottom right there. Alright, so first take your glue gun and we're going to get the find the, the right spot and then take a glue gun, burn a hole right where the magnet's going to be. So about right there. Then we're going to put glue in the hole we just burned. Take our magnet, lay it in there flat. Make sure it's flush with the top of the foam. Now we're going to take a piece of tape and put it right over the magnet like that. So now that we have the first magnet installed, we're going to close this over there like that. We're going to take our pen, make a mark right about where the first magnet is. And then we're going to do the same, put a magnet right onto there, the bottom of this part, then it's going to be able to snap shut. Now as you can see, we have a magnet on both sides. 
and now that's going to stay shut. It's pretty tight. I just open it. And that's I'm going to do the same with this side. I'm going to burn a hole with my glue gun, fill it with glue, place the magnet inside there. Alright, so now that, that magnet's in there, I'm going to take a piece of tape, and I already put tape on that one, but I'm going to take the sticky side up. So the sticky side's facing up. I'm just going to lay it on the top. And now that the sticky yeah. side is facing up, I'm going to take my magnet, put it right on the top of there, and now I'm going to put some hot glue on top of the magnet. So now, I'm going to take my battery hatch, press it onto there, press it really tight, make sure the glue melts into the foam. Now when I take this off, the magnet is on this piece of foam. Already glued in place and everything. Now, I've got my battery hatch on the bottom. Alright, so before we start installing our electronics into our plane, we're going to set everything up um, outside of the plane. So first of all, we're going to bind our receiver to the radio, and so we're going to install our bind plug um, into our receiver, and that's going to allow us to bind these two together. It's going to put the receiver into bind mode. So I'm going to install it into the bind or battery port on the receiver. Next, I'm going to install the speed control or plug it into the throttle channel on the receiver. And we're going to plug in our motor later, so don't worry about that. Then I'm going to plug my battery into the speed control. And as you see, the um, receiver should start blinking, and that means it's in bind mode. So to um, uh, bind your transmitter to your receiver, you're going to have to uh, hold your bind switch or button in. Now your transmitter should have some kind of bind button or switch somewhere on the radio. In this case it's here. So I'm going to hold the bind switch in while I turn the transmitter on. And now it's in bind mode and as you can see the receiver blinks slower while it's connecting. And now the light's solid so I'm going to let go of the bind switch. And now it's so binded now that to our receiver. receiver is binded to the radio we're going to plug in our servos and make sure the elevons are moving correctly. So, so first of all you want to get your servo wires out of the plane while we're doing this. Um, it just makes it a lot easier than trying to install your electronics inside the plane. Um, so that way we're just going to put it outside just to set everything up. So we're going to plug in our two servo wires into the elevator channel and into the aileron channel and your um, control services start should move just a little bit while you're doing it and now when you move your a stick on your radio your um, sur control surfaces or elevons now, should start moving and normally your uh, elevons will be uh, yeah, going moving the I wrong back direction. when I pull back they're going down which is the wrong way when you pull back your both your elevons are supposed to go up so I'm going to take my pen and reverse the elevator channel on the radio most radios have some sort of a reversing method so now when I pull back both of your elevons are going to go As up. As you can see when I move the stick to the right the right elevon goes down and it's supposed to be going up, so I'm going to take my pen and reverse the aileron channel on my radio as well. Now when I turn right, the right elevon goes up, left one goes down, or when I turn it left, the left one goes up. Pull back, and you're going to have to mess around with a little bit, reversing the switches in your radio, and also, if something isn't moving the right direction, you might have to reverse your two servo wires plug them into uh, it might take a while but pretty soon you should get everything moving the correct okay, direction. You probably noticed that these aren't straight. They're supposed to be exactly straight maybe slightly slightly slanted up. So a way to adjust that is turn your plane upside down 
and then go up to your control horns here and as you can see this Elevon for example is um, slanted up too far because the plane's upside down so I'm going to take this um, clevis off and I'm going to tighten it and that's going to shorten the, the length of the push rod so I'm just basically turning the clevis a little bit more maybe now when I uh, put it back onto the control horn as you can see it's far straighter so this thing is uh, is down too far so I'm going to loosen this unscrew it further so now when I put it back in this thing is also a lot straighter now when I flip the plane around again as you can see my control surfaces are even and that's how they're supposed to be. Okay, I'm going to set my motor onto the motor mount. Take my screw. Ah, get another one. My screw in there like that. And then just start screwing it in. So now that we've got our motor installed, I'm going to be hooking up the speed control. So I'm going to just plug this the motor into the speed control like that. I can reach it. It's kind of hard to reach in there, but <laughs> now I'm going to be putting the Velcro inside the plane where the where the speed control is going to attach to. So now I'm going to be installing the receiver inside the plane. Just make sure it's somewhere where both servo wires can plug into, obviously. So it's going to be about right there. I'm going to set my Velcro about right there. And now, I'm going to plug my servo wires into the receiver, to the aileron, and into the elevator channel. Plug it in right like that. And now we're done setting up the electronics. Okay, our battery is going to be inside there. So I'm going to take my Velcro and put a piece right along there like that. Now my battery can sit right on the top of that. But our wires are going to have to go down inside the plane and come out um, the inside. So I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut a decently sized hole for our battery wires. Now the battery wires are going to go right through there. The battery is going to sit on there. Up there. As you can see, my battery wires are coming through right there, and then they're going to plug into the speed control right here. So you want to make sure your servo wires are taped down, because if you don't, they're going to be loose, and I've had it where they flew back and were chopped in half by the propeller. So you just want to take a piece of tape, and I like to just tape it right onto the um, inside of the plane. Just place the tape right over them. Glue them down, I mean tape them down, <clears throat> and now they're secure and won't get hit by the propeller. So now I'm going to be installing the propeller onto the plane. Now it's really important that you keep the front of the propeller, which is where the uh, letters will be at, or the numbers, you want to keep that pointed toward the front of the plane. You would think that you want that face backwards cause the, because the motor's face backwards, but no, you always want to keep it pointed toward the front. Exactly the same as if it was a front uh, mounted motor and and the propeller would be facing forward. You never change it around. You just keep it pointed the same direction all the way back and attach it to your motor like that. Remember the numbers will be on the front and that's the part they want to have face forward. I'll just screw on my prop adapter. I want to make sure your battery is unplugged while you're installing your propeller. And make it pretty tight. Right, and that should be good to go. That's all for part four. And in part five, I'm going to be flying this plane for the first time. I'm going to take it out to the field and maiden it. And just see. Whoa!